Hey YouTubers, I wanted to do a video talking about my uh, process that I'm working through to do the power steering delete on this vehicle that I'm going to take the power steering off of this thing to free up a little bit of horsepower on this little baby 4.8 and I'm tired of fighting with that stupid whining noise from those power steering pumps. I wanted you guys to see I had pulled the bracket off for the alternator and the and the power steering the other day and I still have the power steering pump hooked up to the lines and just sitting on the frame that's basically because I have this up on jack stands and I can't properly position a catch pan yet to uh, catch the fluid when I undo those lines so here's what I've been working on there is a guy truck Doug he has a YouTube channel called good enough garage he lives up he had removed his power steering pump and had what looked like a power steering bypass pulley so i had contacted him through messages and said hey you know how did you do that what did you use you know is that a kit you you know is that a kit did you make that you know what's the deal so basically what he had done is what i'm trying to do now without his uh, ability to machine parts because what he did on his power steering delete was he just got another uh, tensioner pulley. That is just a replacement pulley for the tensioner that bolts to your water pump. So what on his setup, what he did was actually took part of a factory tensioner off of a water pump and milled it or ground it or cut it i don't know what all he did this is just one of your holes that mounts to the cylinder head that holds your alternator bracket so he basically made some kind of a spacer that sits in here somehow and uh allows you to mount this pulley well here's the problem you run into when you go to mount the pulley to your engine the only pulleys that we could find through the advanced auto parts deco selection that come with a 10 millimeter hole in the middle were for like uh, mercedes amg cars or like these weird foreign cars the only ones that had a six rib pulley that we could bolt directly to the engine via this bracket with some spacers were some really expensive like $80 pulley that you had to custom order um, FDO from the manufacturer and all this weird stuff but what the problem is the hole inside of this pulley that goes on your tensioner is I believe 17.51 millimeters okay so that's got a big fat hole in it and that big old hole doesn't drive well with a 10 millimeter bolt because the bolt that goes through your bracket to your cylinder head is actually a M10 1.50 thread. I don't know the factory length, but it's shorter than this one. <laughs> so I searched around because on his video and through his response to his my request, asking him how he did his, his power steering bypass, he had you know made a comment that he had to use a m10 150 thread 120 millimeter long bolt well i have yet to mount this to the front of the engine to verify anything at this point but i searched and it took me forever because even our local fastenal does not hold this in stock they had to order it from somewhere else and you had to buy three of them at a time None of the parts stores have them. Lowe's doesn't have them. Menards, uh, Home Depot, none of them guys. If you go to the parts store and ask for a Deco KT0003, KT0003, that, sorry about that. Of course, I'm going to kick the camera. That is an adapter bushing that what does it do fits right into that pulley and allows you to run the 10 millimeter bolt 
to locate your new pull, your bypass pulley. Now you're going to have to work with getting your spacing from this surface, pulling it out to where your belt's going to ride on this pulley. So what I've done so far, which is totally unscientific, was took a nut of untermined th thickness, but I'd say that's at least a quarter of an inch thick, put it on here, or put it on the bolt. Then I have a just solid thick steel bushing that's 3 8 by, okay, 3 8 center, 3 quarter of an inch diameter, 3 quarter inch tall. Keep in mind, this is all kind of a mock-up stage to try to get this figured out. But what I did the other last night, night before last actually, was just look at these things, balance this on here, like because you got to hold down on this bracket to hold it flat on a surface. I don't know if I'm just lucky or if I should I should probably go buy a lottery ticket, but literally that's perfectly in the center of that plum. Like if this bubble couldn't be more centered in on this level. You know, now whether that'll still be where I want it once I mount it on the car, I don't know. We'll find out. I have full intentions. If you guys can see that Sharpie line that goes from here up and over, everything from that Sharpie line down to the right is going to go away. That's just added weight that I don't need because I have no intentions on putting the power string back on. But if I do, you can find these brackets anywhere. Use this length belt. Now he used a Gates belt. So he'll have a slightly different part number in his video, but it's literally a 5060763 is the shorter belt you'll need to properly tension the uh, deleted power steering. And hopefully I'll be able to, or if you guys go check out his video, you'll be able to see, you know, how he routes the belt, how it works, how it tensions itself, all that good stuff. But... I've been uh, collecting parts for this little maneuver we're getting ready to do. Okay, I have now successfully replaced those uh, eBay ripoff uh, head gaskets that I received. So I now have two of these, all a mall, I'm just going to call them mall. Victor Rains gaskets because we know these will work with the 99 and 2000 cylinder heads and we know that they will work with boost because we've been using them on Richard's car so basically uh, so I'm sorry, sorry to uh, advise everyone I'm gonna save my big valve 862 heads for the 5.3 build um, running into some uh, budget constraints or I'm going to have to re uh, put money basically I'm going to have to reevaluate where I spend the money getting this thing running because I want to get it running before my 50th birthday in April and I'm going to have to buy a new torque converter which I did not think I was going to have to do I have some real 54441 gaskets this is what they look like just remember, these gaskets are the only ones that I've found that specifically say we'll seal the 99 and 2000 heads with the little cutout on the deck surface. These head gaskets will work all the way from uh, 4, 8 to 5, 4, 8 and 5 threes from 99 all the way to at least 2008. We know those gaskets are good for boost up to 18 to 20 plus pounds. Uh, we've had absolutely zero gasket failures with these so far. Um, again, they are the MLS design. They have, a, they have a coating on them that only they use and it absolutely seals excellent on these heads. Um, I just wanted to show you these seal power replacement lifters here because we did a bunch of work uh, researching these lifters because every lifter on eBay now 
is listed as an LS7 lifter. But ironically, when you go to a parts store like Advance Auto, O'Reilly's, AutoZone, any of the big three, from a base 1999 uh, Chevy Tahoe 4.8 all the way to the Corvette at, with an LS7, guess what? They all, they all use the same replacement lifter. How weird is that? Because we looked up a, a 2000 Tahoe, it used these HT, what is this, HT 2148s. And we looked up a Corvette, and it lists the same doggone lifter. So, got a set of those. Got a set of the Dash 6 AN adapter fittings for the Turbo 400 cooler lines. I've got a Hayden uh, plate style cooler. And I'm going to try to get everything, get that all hooked up here as soon as possible. Just trying to collect as many parts as I can. Whoever you are that uh, mentioned the fact that the uh, B&M Torque Master series of uh, converters are actually only good to around, it says, up to 350 horsepower. Uh, no big blocks, no nitrous, no power adders. I'm thinking, okay, let's just assume that just your basic run-of-the-mill tuned 4.8 with no other mod makes 310, 315 horsepower at the crank. So if I do anything, cam swap it and upgrade it in any any way, uh, I'm going to probably be over 350 horsepower. And that's, does that sound like a good idea? No, not at all. So basically I'm in a situation where I'm just going to put the... Uh, 2400 torque master because it's brand new out of the box never been used i'm just going to put it for sale on craigslist and pretty much sell it uh for maybe 100 bucks 125 bucks or you know whatever i can get out of it because i'm not i'm not going to use it a little bit disappointed i wasn't aware until today because i picked up a shift kit for that turbo 400 that i'm putting in here and then realized in my error, the main reason I'm wanting to put a shift kit in the transmission is so I can modify and be able to hold my first gear in the Turbo 400 so it doesn't shift itself. And, well, the B&M Shift Improver Kit that I picked up, it doesn't do that modification. So, I'm going to have to return that thing and get a, probably either a, I'm looking at the B&M, uh, I think they call it Trans Pack, where I can uh, modify that 1-2 uh, shift valve and put in the restrictor in the valve body and all that good stuff. But basically, that's where I'm at right now. Picked up some brand new sealed power lifters, because that was the whole reason why we ended up with a cam swap, because we started developing the ever-popular and ever-famous uh, LS lifter knock and I just can't have that junk so I'm gonna put in brand new lifters new cam new springs uh, updated rocker arms heavy-duty hardened push rods just redo the whole valve train while I'm in there new timing chain make sure everything's right so that's where I'm at right now I'm trying to work out my trans pack or trans go whatever I end up getting and still collecting parts to get this thing put back together. Um, I appreciate you guys following this build or at least watching some of these videos on my channel. Uh, we got a lot of stuff that's going to happen in the next couple of weeks, weather permitting. Uh, let's just keep working at this thing one step at a time, one day at a time, and try to get this thing on the road. Thanks again for watching.